So in the last episode, we built this little habitat for our arctic foxes and we put in this nice little waterfall over here and I think this time we're going to move slightly away from this area and we're going to move into kind of near where we started. We have our red pandas here. Look at them. We have our red pandas. Who's this one? Destiny. And... Oh, um, we're going to put another panda in. So let's put another panda right here. We're going to try it with the giant panda. And because these are so expensive, I just had a little search. And there are a couple that are actually kind of within our budget right now. And this female is kind of okay. I didn't know that we get the female or the male. But I think this is quite a good male. So I'm going to go for the male. And then we've at least got them. Um, we can't afford any of the others, but we can have at least one. And then when we get our second panda, we can put them in later. So let's, unless we have anyone in animal trading. Oh, we've still got this. We may just have to trade this uh, reindeer out. I don't know why. They never seem to go into the zoo. It's very strange. That will improve our, stop the protesters coming anyway. So I'm just going to stamp down the terrain for the habitat. And I'm going to do this by hitting X. And then I can control it a little bit more accurately. Um, I am going to move it slightly away. I want the habitat gate to be on this side, so I'm going to move it slightly away from the edge here. And I'm just going to stamp it out so that hab the habitat is kind of the size that I want it. Um, it doesn't need to be massive for the giant pandas, so I'm not going to make it massive. And that is probably pretty good. Oh. Oh no. Who are what are these for? Oh, why? Oh, they're starving. That's not good. Why are, they ha why are the animals starving? Are they stuck somewhere? Let's, let's investigate. Ooh, if I can get in there. There we go. Why are you starving? They've got food. This is what I don't understand. Have they not got a keeper assigned to them? Maybe they're not in the work zone. They're not in a work zone, that's why. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Let's make a new work zone that includes these and then the panda habitat as well. So let's do these two, this one. I'm going to call it Arctic Fox and Giant Panda. And then I'm going to hire a new keeper. And we're going to assign, who's this? Gale. We're going to assign Gale to the habitat. Arctic Fox and Giant Panda. Also, I realized I made a mistake in the last recording when I was doing this work zone. Uh, this one is correct. I think the llama one, yeah, still includes all of these as well. So we just want the llama to be llama and giant uh, and red panda, not giant panda. Um, so that was a mistake there. Um, this the red pan red panda habitat looks bigger, but it is going to be separated by water. So bear in mind it's just actually this middle room here. And the giant pandas, we're not going to have as many probably. We might get more red pandas. So we've got kind of a little, I don't know what a group's called, but a little group. Oh, look at the rain. It's so pretty. Look at that. It's so scenic. Uh, our guests are probably soaked. But they, some of them have got umbrellas, so that's good. Um, you can buy umbrellas in the information center. So I think they sell them in Kita. Oh, guest happiness. It's too expensive. Oh, well, I'm sorry. It's standard prices. There you go. Five pounds for an umbrella. Not bad. Or five zoo dollars. I don't think it's that bad. So, let's, we've made the barrier, now, well we need to actually put the barrier around the edge and for that we need to put habitat gate in. We're going to have to stamp out a little area. So this is, this, this is um, doable. Like that, there we go. Let's put a habitat gate in there, that's better. And then we can put null barrier and just put this all the way around. then we've got this little barrier around the edge. So we also have quite a lot of floating trees, which I'm just going to put in the habitat for now, because 
They're kind of there already. And well, if the, if the pandas don't like them, we can always just move them out a later date anyway. I'm just going to leave that one there. And then this one's on the side. So that kind of works. Okay. Now we have this kind of lowered area. So what I'm just going to do is sink the terrain down here. So that it's a little bit smooth. So it just basically goes down the ground. Just want to smooth it down. As long as our keepers can walk down the hill, then it doesn't really matter. But essentially, we're going to need to build a little rock formation there, but that's not the end of the world. Um, in fact, I was planning on having rocks come around the back anyway, so... Oh my goodness, expecting offspring? Oh, an empire is about to die from old age. Oh, old boy. Well, you'll be missed. Look at him standing up for the end. Gonna need it on his feet. <laughs> oh no, this is actually really sad. Oh, Empire. Forever in our hearts. I'll call the vet. 13.3 years old though. The good old age. We do have memorials now as well, which is something we could think about for the zoo. Um, I'm trying to think where they are. I think they're in facilities. Yeah, memorial plaques. We could put a little memorial plaque somewhere. I don't know where we put it. But like here. I should have an angle snap on that to rotate it. Um, put angle snap on. Rotate it up. Rotate it round. Rotate it the other way over. Just a little screen for those who know. Nothing memory of... Empire. Red. Panda. Age. 13.3. Died on date, was it the 25th, I'm guessing? <laughs> 25th of... Oh, it was the date, wasn't it? 25th of the 7th. Year 14. Died of... Died... Peacefully... Of old age. There we go. Oh no. Ugh. And whilst life is ending, if we can see that. Is it going to update? I think it will update. Well, whilst life is ending, life is trying to begin here. And I'm going to put a massive stop to that because we don't want this. Oh no, unless they've already bred. Oh no, our offspring's due. That can't be good. Maybe, oh goodness, we've got so many adults. Maybe... All these pronghorns should just kind of go on contraceptives now. We've got a lot of babies. Don't think we need more. Let's just put you all on contraceptives. Same with the bison, really. Well, that's just Lerone. He's not breeding that much. Okay. Well, that, that's not good. Oops. <laughs> Let's see if our sign's updated now. Now that we put it. Hasn't actually updated. Oh, it updates here, but not there. Oh, and we could put a custom image in. So, I'm not going to do that, but that's an option. So if you did want to, you could put a, an image that said the actual name or had like a picture of them. But that's cute. I, I like that. Ooh, we're about to have Arctic Fox babies. Let's make sure we're here for this. Looking very relaxed. I was going to say we should probably get some more Arctic Foxes generally. Oh, she's up. She's up. It's time. How small are they going to be? They're already tiny. Oh, she's walking. Oh, wait. Was that one there? No, that's, that's an adult. Offspring oh, imminent. Oh, come on. We're waiting. 
there are actually, there's actually some renaming I want to do of the Arctic Foxes too, because you guys have sent in some names that you wanted them to be called, so I will do that. Ooh, they sound interesting. Well, we may not wait for the moment. We may do a little bit of renaming first. So this Arctic Fox male, we are going to call Trickster. Oh my goodness, we have an escape llama. And the other male we're going to call Hail Storm. And then <laughs> we're going to go see what happened to our llama very quickly. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, that's a problem. Let's call the mechanic. Yeah, we'll emergency capture you. Yeah, our mechanic's not been maintaining this. I think it's because they're overworked, really. So let's let's not blame the mechanic. Let's get another mechanic and actually another vet. Because I think we've definitely got the budget at this point. Oops. <laughs> it's fine. Oh my goodness, they just blow darted them. That's crazy. And the vet's in there. Okay. Let's let's assign them as well to the work zones. So our vet can be on vet. And our mechanic on mechanic. Yeah, I know. They keep escaping. Oh Jesus. Okay. <laughs> They're all over the place. Our vet's gonna go get them. There's just one in there. There's just Irma, who's actually behaving. Everyone else has run off. Okay, at least the barriers are back now, though. That's a good thing. And we should probably actually get some vet research going on. So I'm going to set our... Uh, I'm going to train up our staff first. Oh, look, look at all the research we've been doing. Right, well, you can stop researching the Arctic aquatic pack and just fix all the barriers for a second. The vet research. Let's research the arctic fox. Oh, we have so many we need to research. We really need to research uh, reindeer as well and the antelope. So let's get on that. We'll train everyone up and then that will run better. We may need to get another caretaker too. I'm gonna train up all the vendors because the more you train them up, the more money they make really. Because they can do like longer shifts and stuff. And we can set the caretaker to just do the zoo uh, work zone. We may need to expand the zoo work zone, actually. Yeah, let's click on all of these. So, the zoo is just basically everything. For those of you who didn't see me create it, but it's so we can put like caretakers and security, and they'll just patrol everywhere around where the areas are. So, we just want the whole zoo cleaned. We don't necessarily need anything crazy. Oh my goodness. How are all of the animals escaping? because we don't maintain our barriers at all, that's how. This is a disaster episode. Our mechanics just need to fix all of the barriers. I don't think we have any barriers here, so we're safe. We don't have any barriers here. We don't have any here, we don't have any here. Okay, literally guys, all you gotta do is maintain two barriers. Like, I didn't think it was that hard. And yes, yes, I've overworked you massively, and it's completely my fault, but you know, do better. Oh, our inspector's report is not going to be good. <laughs> oh my goodness. They just spent the whole time fleeing from escaped animals. They gave us good cleanliness, though. I mean, yes, they were fleeing, but the park was clean. Can't, can't disrupt. Oh my goodness, can't dispute that. Oh, this must be a little baby. We missed the baby. Oh, look how cute they are. Okay. Well, we. Oh my goodness! It looks like that feet, that food needs cleaning. Jeez. Okay. There's a lot that needs doing, just kind of maintaining. Let's call this little baby one Sleet. That was another suggestion. While we're here. And then we're gonna have to capture them as well, aren't we? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Where's a mechanic? Let's find our mechanics. Uh, where are you? Okay, let's pick you up. You can manually pick people up. And let's move you to where here, isn't it? 
Oh, you can only move them to paths. Oh, why aren't you going to that one? No. Oh, goodness. I don't want to have to block it off with a with another rock. I just want the mechanics to fix it. Can I just rebuild it? Oh, goodness. I'm just going to put a big rock in here for now. Tundra. The temporary solution would just use a massive ice one. So we know to replace it. Because otherwise these little rascals are going to keep running out. Yeah, that's right. You're not getting out this time. Looks like our keeper really needs to come here as well. Yeah, can you actually do your job, Gale? Come on. You already got one habitat. Make the meat nice. Goodness. She is very poorly trained, but at the same time, you think you'd know to put fresh meat in a habitat. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna get them sick if we're not careful. I'm gonna put contraceptives on that adult as well. Goodness. Well, that was quite an adventure. Lost my train of thought. <laughs> we need to get putting our animals in. So, let's get some giant pandas. We can't afford any more giant pandas. We do have one. I don't know if I'm going to do anything else to the ground, so we could actually put them in and then see how things go. I'm going to send them to our quarantine. I'm just going to have the bells ringing now. Because of all the escaped animals. Well, the mechanic will come here eventually. Barrier state is 100%. Maybe they were doing that one first. Just a bit annoying. Okay, there's lots of babies and things. I don't even know how many babies they actually have. Let's go have a look and see where our new ones are. On here. Oh my goodness. They escaped? That means there's just Arctic foxes in the zoo somewhere. I mean, we're never going to see them, are we? Let's be honest. Ah, that's not good. It could be this. Yeah, it's that. Oh, dear. I mean, at least they can't get out. Can they? No, they can't get out. They'd just be stuck in there, so... Oh, dear. Well, <laughs> that's not what we want. Um... I don't even know what we do about that, <laughs> other than wait for the mechanic to come fix it. Yeah, just keep running out, I guess. We'll just keep emergency capturing you for a thousand every time. Eventually, there we go. Oh my goodness. He's not even, they're just going to fix that. Come on. Come on, Constance. I know the meter readings on the wind turbine is important, but come, please do the habitat now. Please. Why are none of them? Why did none of them care? I'm going to cancel and then call them again. Where's our other mechanic? Surely one of them has been requested. Unless... Oh my goodness, I know what's happened. Oh, I'm so, so silly. This is a more of a learn how not to play the game. You need to put it in the mechanic work zone, otherwise they're not going to do it. Although she, they, she was doing the wind turbine, which is a bit weird. Um, put the staff zone in there as well. Now, they might actually do it when they get called to it. There we go. Now she's going to fix it. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. I was literally just about to lose my mind. Okay, let's keep training people. We need better trained staff. And eventually we'll have vet research done as well. Okay, I don't think there are any more escaped ones. Who's this? Don't escape. Oh, thank goodness. 
Trickster. Yeah, he aptly named. Oh, goodness. Oh, stop it. Yes. See, you can't beat the, uh, the old mechanic we have. Good old Constance. She's fixing it, whether you like it or not. Could probably delete this rock now. Yeah, look at that. Brand spanking new window. That's what we like. Okay, well, that was a lot of drama. Um, <laughs> Uh, the, th the next thing I wanted to do was actually, well, put the panda in the habitat. And then we also need to sort out education. Because I don't actually think we uh, we did the education bins and the uh, billboards. So uh, for the last habitat or maybe the last two habitats. So I want to just select this. Um, and then can I control D? Yes, this is what we want. And we are going to have a bit of a problem here. We're going to have to turn the radius down. I'm just going to put one on this side. And then I'm going to turn the radius down and put it for Arctic Fox. And put the education for Arctic Fox. And now I'm just going to go and I'm just going to put, oh, I'm going to put them at the right height because this is ridiculously small, uh, ridiculously low down. I'm going to keep, I'm going to go and, and do this for all of the different habitats. And then I might actually put a little fence in here because I actually tell you what, I could probably edit the path to have railing, um, railing on ground path and railing on elevated. Look at that. Isn't that good? And we've got railings the whole way around. There we go. That's what we wanted. Okay. <laughs> so... My goodness, let's carry on with the education. And none of these have power over here, so I'm just going to see if we can put in a quick wind turbine that's going to capture everything. We can. I'm just going to put this in here. There we go. Get a staff path. Set that on four. delete these barriers. The barriers and the path really hate each other. It's actually really annoying. Um, it's just something you have to kind of adjust to. Oh, I'm going to turn tunneling off. We have that on from our Arctic Fox episode. I'm just going to replace this barrier here. And then we can add that into a work zone. We've done level one for Arctic Fox. So we've unlocked some toys, some food, level two. We should probably actually put our food up for all of the animals. So let's make sure we do that. Um, I'm going to add this into the mechanic work zone. Make sure they repair it. And the zoo work zone. And then I think that's everything. Let's make sure the vet's got everyone as well. So the vet needs these habitats too. We can have that staff building. Just want to make sure we're actually like the maintenance of our park is running okay i think we're okay now and then we've got the arctic fox and giant panda are going to use this one as well and they need the giant panda that is all set up now cool okay <laughs> uh, we could see where we need more keepers and stuff but i think we're probably doing okay and we can probably do some form of mechanic research soon as well. It's all kind of coming together a little bit. Let's just, I just want to make sure that the rain, oh, look at them eating the graze ball feeder. So cool. Um, these are all reindeer, 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 yes. Then we can set these to be giant panda when it's time. So the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a quick, I'm going to get a quick rock entrance. I'm going to copy this one and then I'm going to move the rocks. Cool. 
now it's actually a secure habitat, we can get our panda from the quarantine area. I'm assuming their quarantine's done. Let's find quarantine. It is indeed. And let's move them in. And then we can rename this habitat as well. Let's call this... Giant Panda. Look at all these people crowded around. Clearly, the Arctic Fox is in. They're probably our most interesting animal. Oh no, now it's the Giant Panda. <laughs> wow. Uh, we could probably charge more as well. Let us discuss thing. So you can always check on your guest tab to see um, what the guests are thinking. And shouldn't that Arctic Fox be in a habitat? Is there one out? Or was that from before? I'm assuming that that is from before. Let's just click on our habitat and see if anyone's escaped. Oh, there still is one who's escaped. Okay, well, that's not what we want. Did they say they were around here? How to locate an animal. That would be a really useful tip. If you guys know how to easily locate your animals, because it won't let me click on them. Um, that would really help. There, it's just a lot of people. I was never gonna see that. Goodness. Oh, it's probably so scared just out here on its own. That's so cute. Well, in you go. Thank this is why you check on your guest tab. Okay, lit is disgusting, and we need more guest facilities, but not crazy amounts. So, the zoo price is probably fair. The way we can look at litter is if we go to, I think, negative impact. You can see things like litter everywhere. So there's a lot of litter here. It normally just tells you that there's areas where you need bins, to be honest there. So here, I think it's, we've got bins, but they're overflowing. So that's, we need more caretakers. And I might just get another caretaker right now because yeah, why not? We'll put them here. We could, this bin has been vandalized. Let's replace that and replace this one. That's why there's litter over here. Could probably do with another one here though. So let's do just that. Pop another bin there. You can see how we kind of do it as we go around. Um, I am also going to copy the heating round. Put another heater there. So I guess so. Oh my goodness. Here we go. This is when our zoo just got amazing. Unclick. Let's see. Go on, sit down, sit down. I know you want to sit down. Oh, they normally just plonk themselves down. I love it. Wow. Very, very, very cool. So, I think another request for a name that we have is Diamond. And seeing as this is the Diamond of our zoo currently, that's what we're going to be called. Look at him. Wow. Okay, so... Let's just check he's actually... First off, can he escape? Because that's been the theme of today. No, he can't. Is he happy with the land space? Yes, he is. Um, he needs hard shelter, but that can easily be arranged. And he needs a different proportion of stuff. So he's going to need some heaters because he doesn't just like snow. And we do live in a very really snowy biome, although there hasn't been snow for I don't even know how many episodes now. <laughs> um, so let's go into habitat. And let's get, I'm going to pause the game and let's get some heaters in. I'm going to sink them all into the ground, but I'm going to make them all, what's his ideal temperature range? I think it's in habitat temperature. It's too cold currently. Let's have a look. Because I know that giant pandas, oh, if I can spell panda, right? I know that they have quite, it's still quite cold. Ah, oh, two degrees to 29. So let's make it. We'll make it low, but not crazy though. Let's have it like eight, uh, 10 degrees, let's say. Because then it's fairly within his range. And then we can actually paint the terrain. So I've played again. This is the problem. The second you play, there's so many things that happen. Um, you can have more grass, so we can do that. Grass and less soil. 
I mean, grass looks a lot nicer anyway, so I'm tempted just to put that in generally. Go on at 80%. And we can have a little bit of... Uh, I don't really like rock. I think it's a bit of a shame to have rock. Put some long grass in. And okay, we'll put a little bit more soil in. And then when the snow comes, that will probably dominate. So that's fine. He's just kind of got like a soily, grassy area, which he seems pretty happy with. So many animals maturing. As long as they don't inbreed too much, <laughs> I'm quite happy. There's too many to keep track of at this point. Um, so the thing, other things he needs, he's going to need feeding somehow. So beds and shelters, that's the wrong one. Food and water. So it's species and giant panda. And these are all the food and water that are um, relevant for them. Oh my goodness, they need... Wow, it's the arboreal ones. So place them like on a tree or something. In fact, that's a massive tree and that could... Or maybe it should be this one. Yeah, let's do this one. Um, I'm just going to move the tree over slightly. I'm going to sink these down as well. Just so we can't see them. Because they're a little bit ugly. Now they're down. Let's get our feeding platform back. I'm just put one there. And then it'll go on the tree and the keeper will come, put food on it, and all will be well. So actually the ground's kind of come up to meet it, which is a little bit weird. Can we still raise it a bit? Oh, it's always got a mound. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening there, but I can run with it. They're happy with these large trees. They like them from Asia and Tiger and Temperate. So apparently if you click on these, it automatically filters them which is really cool. Thanks for telling me that, guys. Um, oh, and these are the only ones that they're happy with, so... We've not really got a lot of choice, other than we can put some... Such I'm tempted just to scatter a couple around. I'm not massive on these. Um, I don't think they look the most aesthetic. But if we put some rocks in as well... Is it moss? Is it just moss? I thought it was... Um, I think it's rocks covered in moss, isn't it? That's the, that's the vibe they're going for. Okay, that'll do, he says, adding more. The second it looks anything like rocks, boom, we're going to have loads. There's not really a lot of options when you can only put <laughs> one type of tree in. But that's quite a lot of trees, and I think they're probably happy with that. Now, oh, look at them, having a little, a little poop. Okay, so they need hard shelter. And they're going to need some enrichment at some point. I'm tempted, while we're on the topic of enrichment, let's have a look at our vet research. That's reached level two. Range is probably on its way. Let's move them onto pronghorn antelope and we'll get some stuff for them. And then we need to go over to the arctic fox and give them the enrichment that they've unlocked. Because at the minute they're going to be really bored. Species. Arctic. Wolf arctic fox. Ooh, curio ball, that's cool. It's not very uh, aesthetic. Let's put it behind the rock there. <laughs> and let's put some sprinklers in. So where's it? Oh, it's quite cold, but they like that. So that's fine. Let's put some sprinklers in around the waterfall area. And then that's a bit more interesting, isn't it? Enrichment's at 40%. Oh, that's because they need food. And let's put another curio ball in. Let's put one in the den. Okay, um, they don't have anything else, unfortunately. However, we can increase the quality of their food. Um, I'd rather the antelope didn't, mate. If I could find the one that's... Tempest, that's a cool name. There's just quite a lot of them at the minute. Oh no. Okay, so there's a new male in. So we're gonna send this one to the trade center because we don't want them to fight. 
And this one as well. And I'm gonna put Lerone on contraceptive so he stops breeding. Because we've got enough animals in this enclosure. So I think we're fine. Okay. <laughs> Just to go through a check. Like, is everyone okay? I'm gonna see if we can get another. Um, well, another giant panda would be cool, but I don't think we can. Can we afford? No. Um, let's have a look at red panda. Can we get any more? Oh my goodness, they're all very expensive. Can adopt the female. Could adopt them, I suppose. I'd rather purchase them with money, because we have so many zoo dollars at the minute. Okay, let's... Oh no. One of the pronghorn antelopes died. Which one looks dead? That one. No. Oh, he's old. Ah, uh, that one. Ah, <laughs> uh, poor Ember. Call the vet. Oh, Wan watching. That's not good. Okay, now we're in pause. Let's make this habitat the best it can be. Needs enrichment. Have we got any enrichment that the giant panda can use yet? Possibly. We have quite a lot of enrichment. Giant panda. Oh, they're like climbing. This is going to be a good one. Okay, so first off, before we do their enrichment, because we can do a bit more with that, let's go animals, have a look at the food situation, and see if we can up it for anyone. Food quality too. It might be... No, it's not automatically updating. Okay, so you want food quality to go up. You can also uh, track how expensive it is at the minute. Oh, giant panda. You can see one giant panda is so expensive to feed compared to all of the pronghorn antelope that we've got or like all of the reindeer. You know, it, it, it's one way you want to balance your, your finances. But, you know, the giant panda brings in a lot more guests because it's super appealing. So it, it's a give and take. I think at the minute we're doing okay, though. Um, lots of damaged things around here as well. Don't like that. Hopefully we haven't got too much vandalism going on. I think maybe that's from before. Um, okay. Now we've got all the trees in. Let's build some enrichment. Okay, we've built a few structures now. So I'm going to make a big area over here. Over this little mossy area. And this might be where we have their bed. And then I'm going to create a few little got like this one um in fact i'll just move this one we've got a few little climbing frames and we can just add these on to uh, the structures and kind of make them all flow as one So they can't climb vertically up. That's good to know. So what we need to do is have like little ramps and things leading them up to the to the platform. Yes, they can. But I think these are too small for them, which is a little bit annoying because I spent time making these. But not to fear, we just delete these rope bridge ones. Put some larger ones. In fact, these might be okay. I'm going to undo to get that one back. I'm delete these small ones. And then see if they can use the others. things in like that instead.
click on him now. Oh, that's because I'm in the editing group. Oh, that's really annoying. So, okay, he, he does seem to be able to access these somewhat, but just not when the trunks get in the way. Okay, I've now kind of gone round and replaced everything that's not going to work. I think they've got a reasonable amount of stuff now. Um, I'm just going to get rid of this. Given them two smaller climbing frames and one massive one in the middle. So I feel like that's quite a lot. Oh, I just need to delete the old miscellaneous branches that are hanging around. But other than that, I think fairly reasonable. And if we check the habitat, they can traverse them. So that's what we want. At least most of them. Um, still struggling with this one. Maybe that's just because of the position it is. Let's try again. No, well, at least it's nice scenery. Oh, and this is going to recalculate. They can climb up some of it. Okay. Well, it's there. They've got the main climbing frame. It's a little bit annoying that they can't actually climb it. But we'll get some toys and stuff in here as well. There we go. Well, just proving that they can do some climbing. For us. Look at that. Um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> One thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy across this fencing as well. To make sure that the guests can't jump in. Because um, that wouldn't be good. And I'm going to copy it along the side as well. And we can put our education boards onto Giant Panda. And then maybe get some power in here so that they can actually turn on and work and get some education going. going to have to adjust all of this as well because these are going to massively overlap so maybe put that on seven and then do the same here maybe eight for the red pandas can this one manage eight too i think it can it just needs um needs to actually be on the right one oh let's move the bin in and then we can put a bin over here as well. We're going to need one. <laughs> and we're going to need some donation bins. So let's make sure we've got donation bins. Otherwise, we're not going to get any money from any of this. And not that that's the reason you have a zoo, but it definitely helps with running it if you have some donation bins. And we don't have any donation bins for the Arctic uh, foxes either. So I'm going to add those in over here, and here, and here. And I think we did put them in for the reindeer. No, we didn't. My goodness, this is why a zoo must not be getting any money. So we definitely need to be adding these in. Because then people can be donating. You can always mess with the colours of them later, because I think, yeah, we've used this colour palette instead. Um, in fact, I'm just going to go quickly and replace all of these. Okay, so I still can't believe the weather. I mean, it's so nice, but I guess it is still June. But now we have a giant panda in there. Can people see it? It's good. Okay, it's good. You can see the giant panda. That's what we like. That's what we like <laughs> from our habitats. Um, the only other thing left, I think, is to give them some shelter. Although, I think we've done that by creating this massive building platform and they're quite happy with it. So other than these weird couple of logs we've got in here, I'm going to leave that as it is because I quite like this and it's a bit different. If you've enjoyed this episode, please give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.